I try not to think how the universe is without yeah. actually learning how it is in the first place. But yeah, well, it still has a priori no, but, no, I give, but I do have some examples. There are things that I thought were true that later in life learned they were not true, yeah. or I slightly misunderstood it. Yeah. And that was astonishing to mm -hmm. me. It was, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, I have one for you. You ready? Okay. Easter, mm -hmm. uh, for me, I for 20 years of my life, mm -hmm. it was the first Sunday mm -hmm. after the first full moon oh. after the vernal equinox. Oh. Okay. 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 That's really, that was for the first 20 so, years of life, that's how you define Easter. Wow. No, 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 no. That's what, it's not how I defined it. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm it, very it was, impressed. It was my understanding of Easter oh, in oh. the Gregorian calendar. Oh, oh, okay. The Gregorian calendar redefined Easter. Y yeah, okay. For all of the Catholic world at the yeah. time in 1582. Mm -hmm. And the Protestants were later to mm -hmm. take this, mm -hmm. um, this new definition. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, turns out it's not that. It's the first Sunday after the first full moon after March 21st. After literally March 21st? Yes. So that's the religious yeah. equinox. Oh. And then there's the astronomical, astronomical equinox, equinox, which is not, which could go to the 22nd or go to the 20th. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And right now it's, it happens to be, it happens to be in, in March 20th, mm -hmm. which was awkward in the year 2019 because there was a full moon mm -hmm. on March 21st. Oh. So Easter would have been, according to my yeah. definition, the very next Sunday, yeah. like two days later yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but it was not, and that confused me. So I had to call up all my expert friends oh. to, no, 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 you're using the astronomical equinox. It's the religious equinox, which by definition is March 21st. Okay. Yes. And, and what was your reaction to learning that? Was it, I was a little embarrassed that I would oh, have been publicly oh. saying okay, this. Okay, well, that aside, yeah, I'm okay, because you're a public figure, but, let, but personally... How, was was oh, no, that I was exciting? Glad to have is it, it was fun. Corrected it. Oh well, yeah, that's the like, point. And and I tell people often, I want to learn something new every day. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, being proved you're wrong is actually mm -hmm. personally well, for, not for everybody, but if yeah. it's fun, it, the aha experience is essentially saying, aha, I never right. realized it was that way. Right, and we get a kind of inner joy at that because they always said March 21st, and yeah. for many decades that was when the equinox landed. And I did not give myself the occasion to imagine yeah. that even the Jesuit priests who came up with this would yeah. have anchored it to that day on the calendar and not actually chased it to the equinox because yeah. they knew enough astronomy, yeah. even pre-Galileo, to know when the equinox, what what you know, what day the equinox occurred on. Anyhow, that was the most recent, and that was just yeah, a few, sure. week, yeah, well, that's a few weeks ago well, from the I've time of this recording. About, yeah. About, yeah. About a subject about Easter, which I never and heard. Passover is the first oh, full moon is after the equinox because the Jewish calendar is really lunar based. It's right? lunar based, and but you do it on the full moon. Don't uh, don't uh, don't look at me. Your people, <laughs> <laughs> your your genetic my brethren, ancestors, your genetic brethren. brethren. Yes. yes, in fact, my in fact, I have to say that twenty three and me told me that they are definitely my genetic. Brethren. Okay, what is it again? So I know. Okay, so. So it turns out the Jewish definition mm -hmm. of the equinox is the same as the Christian one. It's just March 21st. Oh, I see. Okay. So it is the first full moon after March 21st. Oh. And so the way the Catholic Church said we're never going to have these overlap because there was a risk of that happening the way it was previously defined. Yeah, okay. It was previously defined as the first Sunday after the equinox. Okay. That's uh, it. The, the full moon was yeah. not even in the picture. Oh, okay. Okay. And until 1582... Um, the Julian calendar was not properly accounting for leap days. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And so it had a leap day every four years that overcorrected the calendar. We had to start taking out leap days to recorrect it. And we had accumulated 10 days that didn't belong there. Mm -hmm. You got me started on this. But yeah, I'll, I know. I'll finish in 10 seconds. Uh -huh. So I've heard that took, before. They took out the 10 <laughs> days, jump-started the calendar. Uh -huh. October that year lost 10 days, uh -huh. which was interesting for how you're going to pay rent. Uh -huh. You have to invent sort of amortizing rent schedules. Uh, and so therefore... And they added just for good measure. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let you go because I know that ten seconds. <laughs> they be, added for it's good be measure. Fascinating five minutes. Though. It's the it's Sunday good. after the first full moon, mm -hmm. after March twenty first, and uh, Passover is on the full moon, and so we're good. Okay, good. They'll never be on the same day. Okay, Heart, okay, that's that's okay. That's good to know. They'll mm -hmm. never be. on but the same But they almost day. were, and that and that, and that was the confusion. They're very close this year. Yeah, and, and 2019, everything lands in the religious possible, most religious possible way. Yeah. Passover is on Thursday, Day. which is Holy Thursday. Thursday. Passover, you have your Seder. Yeah. 
it's rumored that the, the Last, Last Supper, Supper was, was a Seder. Seder. Yeah, even then, I know that. And then Good Friday, mm. Jesus gets tortured and crucified. Mm. Why it's called Good, I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, exactly. But it's one of the mysteries of the <laughs> Trinity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, three days, you know, on the third day, um, a Sunday, he rose. And then you get Easter. That's the story. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And um, oh, plus, they had to go through a lot to turn the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. The Sabbath was everybody's Sabbath. Sabbath. It was yeah, Sabbath. So they, they had to turn. And it now to you study. have a, the Christian Sabbath. They said we can't do it. You can't do this with the Jews. Jews yeah. are bad. Uh -huh. So move. Pick another day. So they pick Sunday. But if you look at the name for Saturday <laughs> in the Romance languages, uh, in I've Spanish, it's Sab Sa Sabado. It's all Sabbath. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's all rooted there. Yeah, I love I love letting you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and it, the funny thing it's is the seventh day. It's, God rested. Yeah. And 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 a and sabbatical. We, you go on a sabbatical. It's the seventh year. See, it's all any, good. Any other? Any? No, we're good. <laughs> Beat that one into the ground. What's next in your I, note? In your the notepad? one thing I hadn't intended to talk about was Easter and Passover. Okay. This, in, no, it's good. But as an example. But you know, my goal is to sort of never to know when Easter or Passover is. But anyway, <laughs> now you know. Uh, yeah, now I know. 